I have to make this work, or I, like, you know, I'm never gonna leave Korea without making this work. I flew all the way from Melbourne to Sydney to take the audition, and I got it. And she came through with her guitar. Girl from Australia. Wow, ah, 역시 외국인, 역시 호주. 아, 호주에서 왔구나. I just really enjoy myself. I feel like anything, any obstacle, um, is breakable. Whatever you're dreaming of, enjoy dreaming about it, really. My dad saw on the news that YG was coming to Australia. He was like, Rosie, do you want to audition? And I was so shocked. I think I asked him, I was like, do I like music? Like, do I? And he's like, yeah, obviously. You're going to have to, you know, try to do something about it. Otherwise, you're going to be like 25 and you're going to regret that you didn't try anything. I was 16. And then I went and auditioned and then they called me and they were like, can you fly to Korea within two months? And then my whole life changed. I dropped out of school. In Australia, I, I, I dropped out of school. I had never even imagined myself living apart from my family. I hadn't even like slept more than two weeks out of home. It was a really hard moment. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. What kept you going? And this is a question for all of you because training is not easy, I'm assuming. It's years and years. I felt like it was a fight against myself because it was really, really difficult to be honest, you know. I have to, I have to make this work before I, like, you know, I'm never gonna leave Korea without making this work. And I think my dad was like, okay, I think she wants to do music. And he asked me, do you want to take an audition? And I was like, I don't even know if I was qualified. So I was like, is that even a question? Like, can I? Like, am I allowed? Some people just go home after a month, mm -hmm. some people go home after three years. The culture wasn't like fully like in my blood yet, so it was very difficult. My parents had a whole fight about it, like mum was worried, yeah. but at, in the end they decided to be really, really supportive of it and I flew all the way from Melbourne to Sydney to take the audition and I got it. That's crazy to me. Like, even that, and that's like the first hurdle out of many hurdles that you're about to go over, which is one of the biggest is you don't know the language. They put us into these groups of girls and just survive, like do like a survival thing every month. It's so, it's such a nice, nice thing to have a dream. It is such a privilege for us to dream. So whatever you're dreaming of, enjoy dreaming about it, really. If you enjoy it, then you'll invest more in it. And it's just like, everything helps each other when, when you're passionate about something. It's very, very special.
여러분 화이팅 잘할 수 있을 거예요 여러분 오늘 데뷔 쇼케이스의 주인공 YG 신인그룹 블랙핑크를 소개합니다 네 안녕하세요 블랙핑크의 로제입니다 Imagine someone who was born in New Zealand and raised in Melbourne had the chance to audition at the age of 15 with so much hope and so much to offer just to end up like this. After reading about the Stay Strong Rosie hashtag, now I'm kinda sure they are treating her unfairly. Why would they mistreat her? Rest of the members are doing things that make each of them shine individually except Rosie. You count how many things each member has done, um, and they all have a lot except for Rosé. I think Rosé does deserve more. I think that her solo should be coming soon. Like, I mean, I think she deserves it. Because you can tell there's something there, even if her if her dad liked that post um, as well, like saying like that, you know, she deserves more. Guys, hang in there for me, please. Please, just trust me. Trust me on this, okay? I know that a lot of you guys are very, very curious about, um, you know, how much have I prepared with my solo work and all. I know that's like something you guys are really, really always interested in and is just waiting and dying to hear about, which is really like, that's really like, I'm so happy that you guys are like that. But, um, um, with the question about like when, when it is, um, that, um, so don't worry too much guys. I'm doing really, really well. I love you guys. Please don't worry about me.
여러분 앞에는 이렇게 콜라지로 되었어요. 이거 어, 제가 처음부터 앨범 만들 때 뭔가 콜라지 느낌을 많이 참여하고 싶다고 콜라지를 막 아이디어 이렇게 막 했는데 그래서 되게 열심히 촬영하면서도 사진 꾸준히 거기서 찍고 이랬어요. 이거 만들 콜라지로 하고 싶어가지고 그래서 콜라지가 어, 겉에 구성이 되어. 